and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Isaac Lore. And I'm Puncher the Bard. And we are back to figuring out what we're going to do about Brainiac. Need a hand on Brainiac. Brainiac. I don't know, Barry. Right. That links out. Internet See, what we have to down. do is give him an unsolvable Maybe logic puzzle and lock him up. You fitting there you go. Is an alien not a robot? Let's just say people here are really robot in close quarters with the Flash. Is that Flash? Regime criminal. Pardon well, yeah, regime but criminal. he's still a robot. Give it time. Okay. Or saying he's a okay. flesh tanium robot? He's, a, he's an artificial intelligence, I guess, if we want to split hairs about it. LW based. Are no, I do. It's funny because he kind of looks like the uh, Super Friends version of Brainiac. <laughs> he does. He really does. Big, big yellow man with the symbol on his head. My pardon agreement was pretty clear on no powers. You think that matters when aliens are invading? You no helped powers, tear what? down the regime, Barry. That's why Mr. Oh, it's Barry. Me to take you on. Of course it's and Barry. Batman thinks you earned a second Ever chance. since uh, Joff Johns got put in charge, you're not using Wally West for nothing. What's that? Ever since Joff Johns got put in charge, they're not using Wally West for nothing. Why? I don't know. I mean, it was Wally West in the animated series. I was say, a lot of people like Wally, too. A lot of people grew up with Wally. Mm -hmm. Just not older people. I don't know. Not Mr. Johns? Yeah. Anyway. Are they checking to see who are metahumans? Or what? Oh. Have interesting info. <laughs> punch, 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 punch. And that's like, why super speed is the brokenest power. It is pretty broken. I like how he turned the one's hand so he, <laughs> like, scorpion speared himself in the face. That was pretty good. Yeah, dude, your constructs are gonna have to have a much faster reaction time. Barry Allen has returned. Oh! You actually saw that coming. Well, enjoy this. A bullet. I mean, maybe on it's your a, best day. Maybe it's a real gun. You have to leave that shot by, like, three city blocks. I'm not saying he can't. Ah, that's it. mildly annoying. He has to get the bullet out before he can heal around it. Nice aim, dead shot. Just get the job done. That needs this is literally the only time that... Look around! This is ridiculous. Yeah, crazy day. Kind of like when Superman went nuts and you went right along with him. Punish me later. Well, yeah, it's we Superman. Help these innocent I love people. The same innocent people who cheered Superman when he executed my friends? My sister? Wow. Sorry, uh, chip on your shoulder. You never hurt civilians. You're better than that. You know, it's Once true. He usually time wasn't, time. like, the super lethal type. Well, that knee's better. Yeah. Uh, you uh, folks at home might hear a bit, might hear a bit more uh, clicking. That is because Isaac Lore has entered the fray. A new challenger appears. Uh, and he's too good for regular controllers. For uh, for those of you who've been watching some of our other series, you'll know that uh, Isaac uh, enjoys the fight mans, and in fact was the one that. Uh, Got me kind of hyped for this game, so uh, here we are. <laughs> it's interesting to see what Captain Cold can actually do. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to do any of it. <laughs> well, I mean, not just that, but like nobody plays him. It's weird because I think he's actually kind of neat. I think it comes down to not having a huge fan base. I mean, he's not exactly Batman. <laughs> Or an A-rank hero. Or a B-rank hero. Um, he was... I mean, I can see why they put him in. And he does actually have a background that makes him interesting as a character. He was part of, uh... The Rogues. The group True. of, like, anti-hero villains that actually had to fight the villains when the heroes were too busy fighting each other at one point. Yeah. So, he actually has had an interesting, uh, take here and there. Plus, he's in the, uh... The Flash uh, TV show. That's true. Although not this costume. But, uh, 
I would be very surprised if they didn't have a TV version costume pack available at some point. That's true. I mean, they don't have to change any of the moveset, they just have to make a skin. What was he doing? Fixing his, his gun. His trait is that he can modify his gun and it oh. does other stuff. That's cool. Like, hey, guys. Are... He went through time and hit a. <laughs> And then another flash came to take the other one away. No, that was the first one. Oh. Because time paradox. That seems like a finishing move, not a... That seems like something that's going to cause another flashpoint. <laughs> flashpoint paradox is literally the point where they hit each other. Oh! It should have been like the movie Time Cop. They should have melded together and then neither one exists. Yeah. Well, there's Catwoman's sudden but in inevitable betrayal. Of Girl Grodd? I mean, yeah. Of anybody? I mean, he's gross, and she's not actually a bad guy. She's a... She's a rogue, or an anti-hero. Uh, most days. And she's not gonna see the profit in helping Gorilla Grodd betray Earth. I was helping you with Bruce's mold. I was hoping. Oh, good it did. Grodd never trusted me enough to share the whole alien invasion plan. Oh, God. We gotta help Dino Been under deep cover for who knows how long. Yes. Harley Quinn and Catwoman should <laughs> teleport on the alien ship to save Dina and Ollie. <laughs> well, I mean, it would be unexpected. That's true. Brainiac wouldn't see it coming. And they don't have any kind of power signature that would, like, register. I mean, thermals, but they're probably not any hotter than his cooling system is. Yeah, if he sees it coming, there's not much of a chance. What's with you, Lawton? You should be fighting this invasion. Got no choice. Grod put a nano explosive in my head. Oh, there's a good reason. Wait, no, I can. Ow. I can fix that. I can vibrate through that part of your head and pull an ano trigger out. So whether I like it or not. I'm just I saying, like. Grodd's dirty work. He should have. He should have had that conversation of, you know, there's this thing in my head. Uh, you'll have to get it out in a couple of seconds or I'm gonna explode. Yeah. Barry do it. Yeah, he would. He's a stand-up dude. He's probably one of my favorite DC peeps. Just because he's almost always objectively a good guy. So were you Sonic the Hedgehog in that guy? A little bit. Might have been. So, uh, fun fact, I don't really play the Flash. So I'm learning as I go here. I was going to say, I noticed that you kept bouncing off that statue, and I don't know if you meant to, or if you were trying to throw it. Yeah, I kept trying to throw it. <laughs> also, the jump only seems to go one way. It depends on which side you start on, I believe. Oh. So, that's no, guess not. Because you've jumped backwards a couple times, and I figure you're probably not aiming to. It really hasn't set you back much, but I'm just kind of keeping an eye on that. So I want to point out that the Flash dabs before he uh, does it that does. move. does. That's true. You know, if you could travel that fast, you could take Nano Trigger out of my head. Just uh, say, right there, right there, he could take the Nano Trigger out of the head. Right out of pocket! <laughs> they both blow up. Oh. Oh, hey. hi, stupidest named villain in the DC universe. And and this is a universe that has composite Superman in it, remember. And Calendar Man. And Calendar Man. Kite Man. No, and Kite Man. Did you catch that? The return of Barry Allen. Reverse Flash, it's like, you were never one to miss a good crisis. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, well. You can't have a crisis without, uh, without Flash. You typically have to have one die. It's usually the resolution part of the arc. He either dies to start it or dies to stop it. <laughs> it's true. I wonder where he was hiding, just waiting for Barry Allen to show up. He's probably pulling Goku and just waiting, watching the fight. Well, because he wasn't part of the Syndicate. No. Well, the regime? No, no he wasn't. Yeah. Which is weird, because he seems like a shoe-in for that. I was going to say, if Captain Cold got in, I mean... Well, that's the society. Whatever. Oh, right. The Gorilla Grodd thing. He wasn't a part of it. No, he wasn't part of the society. These cards this literally such, don't even know what's happening. This is such a cool, like, I just love this part. You know what I love in fighting games just the most? 
Yeah. Cutscenes where characters fight. Yeah, it's super cool. It establishes things, and I get it. But, uh... They have to what, get to the Gotham stage. So, what... <laughs> that's true. What I like about this is it really did establish how fast they are. That felt like a fight that happened in, like, two seconds. Ugh, there's so much angst. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's got a decent motivation. Finwish. Oh, come on. And I'm not saying come on to you, Isaac. I'm saying come on to the sign. It needs to cooperate yeah. simply because... It takes three. It does? Uh, yeah. It just, it very much amuses me that that is a thing. I don't know how to... So this is just a fight against a palette swap, right? Yeah, uh, a, a reskin, yeah. Next time <laughs> he went and got a soda. He needs to keep those energy levels up. He also dabs. But yeah, I, I will say that all of his fight looks very iconic. It looks very, very flash. Mm. Like the the punch combo where he keeps getting hit after he uh, after he finishes the combo because the flash is just that fast. It's very good. Nice, you didn't use up all your meter. <laughs> You'll see. Uh in the pro series where they do end up clashing mm. a lot of the pros won't put up any meter for pit mm. uh, they clash simply to reset position ah. I will win every fight with dinosaur smash <laughs> you know, well, it's very iconic it's very very flash too oh hey you know the time paradox that he's so angry about just created another one <laughs> why do you keep doing that you're the reason for so much pain. How? No, not today. Nice to see you too, Barry. Whose dead hand you pry that ring from? You know it doesn't matter. Ooh. Away. The ring chose Ouch. me. Even after you bailed on the Guardians to join the Sinestro Corps, the Guardians locked me Ooh. up. But they also trained me to overcome my fears. I earned the second chance. I don't know. I feel like <clears throat> we need uh... Kyle Rayner. Yeah. John Stewart. Any of the other ones, uh, really. Guy Gardner. I was going to say, I'd take Guy Gardner. Uh, also, John Stewart is a premium skin. Also, yeah. Guy Gardner seems like the kind of uh, guy that would punch first and ask questions later that would make that interaction make more sense. That's true. Or for that matter, if Guy, Guy Gardner were the Green Lantern in the regime, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. That would make sense. But we get this one for the same reason we have Barry Allen Flash. Classic. Yeah. He's the original. He's so iconic. And I mean, you know, I like Barry. Like, like sure. a lot, yeah. actually. But uh, I do feel it should be Wally West or uh, Bart. Yeah. Uh, Impulse. Teen Titans. They've got a lot of legacy characters that just stopped using for whatever reason. Well, I mean, they even got rid of all the other Batgirls. Yeah. I mean, some of them don't even exist in continuity anymore, so... Yeah. It's, just, it's weird. Ring doesn't like your chance. Ooh! Maybe they'll forget to renew a copyright, and then somebody can just make a fan movie. Uh, that'd actually be pretty great, yeah. I could see somebody just forgetting under a pile of paperwork uh, Impulse, mm -hmm. the, the third Flash. And then, you know, we can make an Impulse movie. Not a Flash movie, because they'll, they'll always own the Flash. Well, but, they, yeah. but they can make an Impulse movie and watch the heck out of it. Mm -hmm. Heck, you can even get the... <laughs> Beat the green out of it. What's his name? I'm absolutely terrible at... Who? I gotta describe you. He plays Hal Jordan. Right. Brian Reynolds? Six. Oh, uh... Planet. The guy who played Malcolm Reynolds. Uh, Nathan Fillion. Him. Yeah. Nathan Fillion should show up in an Impulse movie, but never call himself the Guardian. <laughs> just be the wise mentor guy. That'd be pretty great, actually. Guess we're both on that path. We have a long way to go, Barry. 
the green guardian. A lot easier if we there you go. I have a play Alan Scott. Ooh. Yeah. Speaking of a you Green Lantern that never gets any time. You gave me a second chance. Nathan Fillion would play a gay you guy. Your head straight and help take down I think Clark. he'd be comfortable doing that. If he was still in charge, I he'd be wearing yellow. No reason for that. Neil Patrick Harris. Not that no. guy anymore. Um. Look, I get why you but yes. I was going to say, he'd be a great Alan Guardian. Scott, actually. He's the right age now. and means something. Uh, he's a fantastic like actor. Who hell to get it back. Who's that? I think so. I like John Barrowman. Also a good choice. Fine. Would be a great... I, I think it would be a great choice. So what I'm hearing is, is that we've got a casting call that we could do that would just be... Lantern. The best. Time I yeah. widened my oh, circle oh. Of trust. It would be a... It'd be a Justice Society I do. movie. You're going to Atlantis. Our circle of trust needs Aquaman and his marines. You think he'll help? Marines. He's been off radar since the regime fell. Yeah. Um, I wonder if they take offense to being called like Marines. Superman. If it's like a slur. Sure be happy to see me. Get used to that. It's like we don't call your we don't call, we don't call your guys lands. <laughs> you know, Batman wants my. There's like four or five Green Lanterns for. Strap five. All right. Anyway, we'll continue this line of discussion in our next episode of Endless Mode if we remember. Yeah. Call us out in the comments if we don't. Like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. Thanks for watching.